Well, good morning and welcome once again to an annual welcome ceremony to our new students and new faculty. Um, as always, it's a pleasure to welcome them all to the OIST community and to be part of the start of their new uh, life and adventure. So today, uh, we will begin the ceremony with a short dance program from Riku dancers. They're all very professional, but they're all from OIST. Uh, Ami Chinen, Naoko Tokumoto, Mami Takahashi, Sawako Koki, Megumi Ikeda, Clara Ferreira Cores, Ayumi Nagai, and Aya Puka. And the dancers will um, enter shortly, but first I'd, I'll just get an introduction to their dance from Ami Chinen and Misato Matsuda. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to welcome you in Uchinaguchi, the indigenous language of Okinawa. Welcome to Okinawa, new students, faculty members, and administrative staff. Today, we are going to dance Yochidaki. Okinawan people have been dancing Yuchidaki since the Ryukyu Kingdom to, to celebrate guest arrival and to express our joy in receiving them. Kumankayuru Yuchidaki no Shinkan chan, Jikatan Shinkan chan, Muru Oisto to the Hatarachoru Shinkan chan atobin. We, the dancers, and the Sanshin players are a group of researchers, administrative staff, students, all working at OIST. Over the past few months, we dedicated our lunch time to practice for this occasion, so we hope you enjoy our performance. Let the Yochidaki sound and Sanshin music deliver the joy from OIST community. Once again, welcome to OIST. Thank you. 
All people from Oist. Not professionals, but very professional. Thank you again. So you can catch the uh, Sunshine players at many opportunities throughout the year. So um, that's a little taste of Okinawan culture to welcome students, new faculty uh, to Oist. Uh, and it's something we very proud of living in Okinawa, a place with a long history uh, of its own, and more recently, a place where Oist has been growing. So I'd like to now call on the new president, Dr. Karen Marquides, to make some remarks and welcome you to the new year. Thank you. Good morning and hi Thai, as they say here in Okinawa. Hi Thai, everybody. Um, I have the great honor to present the entire, um, to represent the entire OIST community with a really warm welcome to our new students in the class of 2023. I also have the pleasure to give a special welcome to our new faculty. Um, and this year, and as well as, of course, the new academic and administrative staff members, joining our unique environment, our meaningful mission. Together, uh, you will add new inspiration, ideas and impact to keep OIST vital and full of energy. Along with you, I'm happy to see many of our colleagues from the OIST community here to celebrate this exciting welcome day with you. And so welcome everybody. To, uh, to the class of 2023, 
uh, you will discover that OIS community of students, faculty, administrators, and collaborators are here to ensure that you will be beneficiary of their efforts. I hope that you also will uh, have a wonderful experience becoming part of the OIST family. So let me take uh, this opportunity to familiarize you a little with, with our community. First and foremost, you should be very proud to have been selected for support by the Japanese people for your world-class PhD education. You will find that our community is uniquely adapted to your future needs of knowledge creation and leadership. Wherever you decide to continue your career after graduation, this will be useful. I trust that you will always engage in the OIST culture and help to nurture what we are planting here together in our soil and spread our best practice out in the world. So let's start with the OIST mission. The OIST mission is the following, that we shall conduct international renowned graduate education, outstanding curiosity-driven research that explores intersection between disciplines, knowledge building outreach and science education, and prosperity creating business development based on science and technology. We shall contribute to the sustainable development of Okinawa and promote and sustain the advancement of science and technology in Japan and throughout the world. Isn't that something? And this is our goal and uh, is what we have promised to live up to one day. With this mission, the government of Japan, the Okinawa prefectural government, and the people and communities in Japan support the establishment of an international university offering an advanced science degree here in Okinawa. In fact, the importance for nations, nations' support of higher education and its role in society was identified by Louis Pasteur 200 years ago. He claimed that science is the highest personification of the nation because the nation will remain the first that carries the furthest the works and thought and intelligence. This significant responsibility underlines the journey we are on to reach our mission. I speak to the outstanding results from our first decade and deep call for the next one. The foundation for our next decade and beyond is presently being developed and will be su subsequently adjusted to respond to rapidly changing local, national, and global environments and opportunities. OIST is to remain one of Japan's most important investments as a model of a graduate university in this century, preparing for a sustainable and resilient future. International evaluations show that OIST research model represents best practice already in the world. This should now be complemented by our efforts of becoming a benchmark of co collaboration aiming to further strengthen the attraction and outcome of our curiosity-driven research environments. So, in addition to curiosity-driven knowledge, what characterizes OIST culture today? Well, uh, OIST researchers conduct top-level research, I already mentioned that. Uh, the high-trust funding model that we have here enables additional attraction to OIST and its exploratory and free research. We also have an open and flat and accessible structure and operates, um, um, uh, that this operation enables meetings across disciplines and uh, engagement in innovation and, and from local to global networks. 
So there is actually no limit to how we can collaborate across, and we see a lot of experience of that already. Uh, OIST has a world-class graduate school with research bridging disciplines and, stakeholder, um, and stakeholders to explore, lead, and transform based on knowledge and trust. OIST researchers have advanced collaboration on international level. And institutional collaboration is starting to become an important opportunity for visibility, attraction, ranking, and value-added outcomes. So you might then wonder, what will characterize the future of OIST culture? I mean, if we have already all this I just mentioned. Well, uh, let, me let me tell you. We will increase the focus on research evaluation and retention in line with our mission to provide advanced institutional and community support. And that means that our researcher will, researchers will be, and of course the graduate students will be rewarded if they collaborate across um, disciplines. We will enhance OIST researchers' opportunity in different geographies with local partners, national university networks, and international collaborations. Well, that means, of course, that we're not going to control from an institutional level what research to be done, but we're going to open many doors and opportunities and incentives to connect both locally, nationally, and internationally. And I just came back from a trip to, to Europe, to ETH in Zurich and ISTA in Vienna. And both these universities are very keen on connecting more with, with OIST and feel like we are um, really uh, universities that have the same similar type of vision. So we will use something we call virtual open centers um, as evolutionary collaborative areas. That means that, that we will actually support that, um, that we will be visible together in, in some areas to, so that people know what we are good at and that will attract more people to come here and collaborate and visit. So across, across OIS, this will visualize collaborative projects stimulated by, by transformative incentives. And that means that we will learn more how to really make people change their mind to do things that are not uh, on the map today and to benefit uh, the research units uh, involved. We will strengthen integration with partners in uh, Asia Pacific, in Europe and North America. Uh, we feel that um, as a university, we really need to be a global partner front and foremost, but of course we have in our mission to also work, work locally. We will strengthen our innovation culture and its uh, connection to OIS knowledge and leadership. Uh, we have a, a, a strong and growing innovation uh, area that actually will um, triple in size in the coming year and uh, we will get more inter um, interaction between the research that is relevant to also take further out in the innovation space. We will create public-private university partnerships and test beds. And that means that we will actually, um, in areas that the research is strong, that we will invite different stakeholders from the public and private, um, both, both nationally and, and global, national and local, and to work together in, uh, you can say, laboratories without uh, any preset uh, reality labs, actually, out in, in, in the free space. And this is um, um, a very interesting way of connecting with the Okinawa and develop uh, possibilities here for, um, for uh, prosperity. We will strengthen a culture of diversified funding because um, a university is so good in research and collaboration, we will also have 
possibilities to uh, even take in more, pos uh, more uh, funding from different sources, both individual and industry and, and uh, other type of grants in the world. We will develop system thinking skills, um, and system thinking skills is combined the broad thinking uh, with the design thinking, which is uh, actually how to focus on creating, building, and combining strength for uh, complex challenges. These, um, maybe some of you know about uh, this development of system thinking and design thinking in the Stanford University, and we have a l tight connection with them in developing these uh, possibilities. We will show leadership in outreach and science education and benef with benefit Okinawa and beyond. We already have uh, many things going here, but we will strengthen this area. This is very important for the future uh, generations. We will build a diversity, equity, and inclusion with our community to foster creative, fresh perspectives and understanding. Of course, diversity is something that we really stand behind. It's a base of curiosity and, uh, um, and creativity, uh, but it's nothing without inclusion. So we will work together to, uh, to be a model in that area. We will develop our uh, internal culture and decide what we want OIS to be known for. Yes, of course, it's always important to, for the outside world to understand what we are good at. And, um, I encourage you all to really help to describe this in a, in a, in a very attractive way. We will focus on, on civility and building trust within OIST and with our partners. Well, we have to recognize that we are actually here coming from all, uh, almost 100 different types of cultures and um, experiences. And this could be our advantage, and it is our advantage. We have this uh, diversity and, and richness. We also have to remember that we have different, the different cultures also comes with different challenges if we don't work with them. We have to really build trust to listen and understand each other so that we build up this uh, trust and, uh, and we will um, be even more attractive as a place to come visit and work here. We will uh, enrich also risk taking. Um, and I don't know, but I come from Sweden. We are not good in risk taking. And I think Japan also is not high on that list. But let's make it so. Uh, we, are, um, we will enhance risk taking and make failures part of a learning process that will build the strength and the character that we have. So I think you, um, you all agree on this list. And there are many things that we will work on together. So let me just say also a few words about the state of this university. So thanks to the foundation laid um, by my predecessors, OIST ha has celebrated success with strong growth in our research units, in the scientific productivity, and also in our reputation. So we are now entering a new, new strategic phase based on this success um, that will uh, direct us from 2024 to 2029 with outlook for 2034, so it's five plus 10 years. In order to adjust uh, OIS to cope with the dynamic and rapidly changing world, um, we, um, um, I mean, all, of, all both locally and, and globally um, surrounding, uh, we will uh, work for a future of sustainability and sustainable growth and resilient resilience. So um, to deliver on this mission that I mentioned earlier, we must reach a critical mass to, actu um, to actually do that on campus, be more active and um, meeting each other on campus. We will grow from now 90 research units to 100 research units in 10, 20, 2026. And this effort will be augmented by a strategic development of visiting research activities and also campus social activities. And I ask you to uh, really be both active and also come with ideas that you feel would really fit into this critical mass building. OIST has 
today also a small university advantage, meaning that people knowing one each other and sharing the feeling of belonging together is, uh, is one of our um, uh, tr uh, traits here. It is essential that we nurture and strengthen this culture and include our collaborators also in this community. OIST faculty and students are um, um, interacting across research units to be able to tackle complex challenges already today, and they do it in broad areas of strength and generate new basic research questions. So definitely collaborating research um, means that you will open up for new research questions. An example of this is um, this spring we had the OIST Science 100 Symposium, uh, we, which, which took place in May of this year and now uh, is developing into a virtual, these open virtual centers with advanced collaboration incentives uh, prov and providing valuable input to our faculty recruitment and opportunities for our science strategy. During the rest of this physical year, through March, um, the OIST community will engage in strategic planning efforts to prepare for the yearly inclusive strategic process that will start next year. And this strategic process will be a bottom-up process where everybody has possibility to, to uh, really make input into the next year's strategic developments. The aim is to step-by-step step build a resilient OIST with institutional support system for our curiosity-driven uh, excellence uh, creating attraction and making always the preferred and a respected partner and collaborator. Part of this process is now my listening tour that um, I will go around an uh, OIST uh, all campus and which begins actually tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited and looking forward to meet most of you, if not all of you, in this coming week and month it takes to go around. And, um, um, I'm really looking forward to this uh, shared endeavor. OIST has a healthy and growing understanding and support for entrepreneurial education, technology transfer and expanded academia industry network, and also with industry affiliates. This is connected um, with, to everything from um, basic research to outreach in the municipality to collaboration with industry and risk capital. I, I mentioned before that the, this is some a strength here at OIS, but it will actually also be uh, even more strengthened and also connected uh, across the university. With the Japanese government's economic policy and uh, other funding support for infrastructure and capacity building for university startups, uh, we actually have um, a big grant called COI Next, and uh, it stands for Global Co Bioconvergence Center of Innovation for One Health, One World. And um, it um, began its operation this year and actually has a site visit here from the government today and will present its first progress report shortly. Finally, please take the opportunity to be inspired by our Professor Svante Pebo. Um, he got the 2022 Nobel Prize Laureate in, uh, in Physiology and Medicine. And, um, uh, and he receives, as you can imagine, many invitations to talk all over the world. And he is only able to commit to a very small number. But we have the privilege of being one of those because he just loves OIST. So to acknowledge OIST and Okinawa, Swante will actually give two public lectures here in, in October. One is in the, this auditorium and the other one is in uh, Ura Soe um, in Naha. And the uh, talk is entitled Denisivosians and Neanderthals, How They Live in, On in Us. Isn't that amazing? So uh, registration opens for this tomorrow. So, to the class of 2023, I wish you the best in your OIST graduate careers. And to all of you here, uh, by choosing to come to OIST, you have proven that you have the courage to embrace risk and uncertainty. You embrace the diversity of a multilingual, multicultural, multidisciplinary, 
environment, and you embrace curiosity and the unknown. For all of this, you will be rewarded for life. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Makidis. Um, OIST has been growing steadily for, what, the 15 years almost that I've been here. I've seen it grown from 22 faculty, um, with big burst in the first couple of years, but we keep adding new faculty, and one of the focus, the targets of today's ceremony is to welcome as many of the new faculty as we have uh, this year. And I'd like to now call those uh, members of faculty who are new uh, to please join us on stage and the community can see you and we can welcome you. So please take a seat. Uh, the first person I should mention is not with us yet. He'll be coming next week, um, Professor Oleg Sitzel. Um, he was originally, um, prior to coming to OIST, he was finishing a postdoc at the Max Planck Institute of Molecular Physiology, and prior to that, he was at Oxford. He's a structural cryobiologist interested in structures of large bacterial protein toxins and membrane-bound proteins, and also the, the development of experimental and instrumental techniques for their resolution. So I'm sure he'll find a, a great home here. We've got some fabulous cryomicroscopes and, and a great community of, of support. Moving further along to the next, the first of our new professors, um, William Munro, Bill Munro. Please introduce yourself. Thank you very much. I'm not sure whether a mic is actually really needed because being a New Zealander, I am very loud and you'll probably hear me over parts of campus. So I want to give you a welcome here. I mean, OIS is a unique place. Um, from I've only been here a few months, but I mean, I've spent 25 years in industry. So I've moved from the industry now into academia to kind of help train the next generation. I mean. Your future is important to us all. I mean, you are the next generation. You are who are going to take our science that we have now and really um, innovate and create a better Japan, a better worldwide environment, especially given that we can do curiosity-driven research. This is exciting. So my background is a little bit unusual in a sense. I'm a chemist, high-performance computer programmer, mm -hmm. now quantum physicist, physicist engineer. And kind of, I like to play at the periphery of these particular areas. So um, if you want to chat, you'll find my door is, is always open. We can go and have a coffee somewhere. And I really say, come and chat. Use the experience that um, always provides you that is unique, um, definitely within Japan and I think worldwide. So thank you very much. Welcome to Oist. So the next professor. Uh, welcome is Professor Gerald Powell. Hi, well, welcome to OIST. It's like um, very, <clears throat> I think it's like, it's a, I think OIST is a unique opportunity. It's like I came from uh, Southern California for most of my life, although I was born and raised in Europe until uh, the end of high school. But as, <clears throat> as Bill, I also have Although I was in basic science most of my life, I had a stint in industry also. I was a director for high throughput streaming data science um, before I came here. And I think both Makoto and myself are like the new data science hire that might actually bind a lot of the things that are actually going on in OIS because I think most people have data, but not so many ways to analyze it yet here. So we hope to contribute to that and at the same time provide basically um, a new way of thinking about um, how to design your experiments where you can maximize the utility of data and uh, to get the most out of your experiments. Uh, in, I can speak a little bit to that because uh, before I became a data scientist, I was an experimentalist myself and also 
uh, went to medical school. So um, if you are interested in these things, come talk to me and I welcome you all. Thank you, Gerald. And the last of our group today, Professor Makoto Yamada. Hi, uh, good morning. Um, uh, also welcome to the OIST. And I'm very excited to be here with the, all the uh, new uh, students and the new faculties. So I'm uh, currently, I'm a very new uh, faculty in the OIST. I'm uh, working for computer science area, in particular for machine learning and data science. So this is a very, uh, OIST is very, uh, known for the natural science and the engineering, uh, but uh, computer science is very, very small yet. But I really wish to uh, develop very strong uh, machine learning and data science artificial intelligence community here. So I'm, myself, I was, uh, I originally wanted to uh, make a, um, to be a game programmer before, and then now I, I now change my uh, uh, career to the artificial intelligence machine learning researchers. And then currently I'm working for more machine learning theory and uh, uh, algorithm like, for example, ChatGPT, you might have heard of it. We also working for large language models and some, uh, you know, machine learning development. So, uh, as as uh, Brechen said, uh, the uh, one of the strengths of OIST is the curiosity driven research. I really ha enjoy this in you know, a culture, so I really want to uh, foster the, this culture together. And uh, so, if you want to uh, work for the some machine learning programs together, I'm very happy to discuss. So please come and uh, I'm uh, uh, basically I'm a machine learning researcher. I'm not do not know about the mach uh, problem itself. So therefore, like so, please bring some interesting problem to that. Possibly we can solve together with machine learning. Also, I just want to advertise a bit. Uh, so because the machine learning community in OIST is very new, so I really try to um, uh, try to make the OIST visible to the international community. So we will organize machine learning summer school that is held in uh, next March here. This is the world prestigious machine learning summer school. So I try to uh, keep com contributing to, to this direction. So uh, please, uh, if you're interested, please uh, join to the machine learning summer school. And yeah, but I try to uh, make the uh, uh, OIS uh, to a very good place for machine learning. So uh, uh, please join that if you're interested. Okay. Thank you very much. You may return to your seats. Thank you. So, it's always good to meet new faculty and to hear a little bit about uh, their research. And great to have you with us. I've already been able to catch Makoto Yamada for a course. Gerald Powell, I've been talking, and Bill, I'll be catching up with you shortly. So, the other group of people that we have to welcome today are the new students. Um, I would like to call on the Dean of the Graduate School, Professor Thomas Bush, to begin uh, the welcome. Good morning to all members of OIST and guests, and most importantly, good morning, and welcome to the brilliant minds that are our newest uh, PhD cohort. This welcome ceremony marks the beginning of your PhD. Today is the day you start, and we will come together again in five years' time to celebrate your achievements. Today is the zero mile marker, but actually it marks a lot more than the beginning of your PhD. In fact, I would argue that the zero mile marker is the most important of all milestones that you're going to reach. It does not only mark the start of your PhD, it also marks the completion of the journey that got you here. A journey during which you decided that you want to undertake your PhD at OIST. During which you decided that you want to embark on a future that is defined by all kinds of uncertainties and by more and more questions popping up every day, more than answers during which you decided that you want to be challenged every day and that you believe that you are smart enough and strong enough to be not overwhelmed by the unknown. In fact, during which you decided that what you wanted was to take a risk. And you've shown up to do so. This is a significant achievement and this is what we mark here. Congratulations to all of you. Of course, 
For many of you, it might not have been a choice to come here because there are questions in your head that keep you up and awake at night and that need answers so that you can find sleep again. But some of you still need to find these questions and we are happy to work with all of you on many exciting problems in the coming years. But this is, of course, not also your first adventure in science and technology. You've already spent years demonstrating your commitment to understanding the boundaries of knowledge and before admitting you, we've carefully checked that you've excelled at that. We know that you have the technical skills required and with you showing up here today, we now also know that you have the right mindset. You are perfectly prepared. It's just plain sailing from now on. Oh wait, it's not. <laughs> the journey towards the PhD is not an easy one, not always a fun one, and finding the right way to succeed is almost never obvious. But the overused dictum is right. Challenges are simply opportunities in disguise. Every obstacle you overcome will contribute to your growth, both as an academic, but also as an individual. And growing yourself is just as important as discovering new scientific facts or inventing new technologies. Your technical skills and insights will allow you to generate new ideas and question old ones. And combined with your personal skills, you have the opportunity to become leaders of your respective fields. Remember that discovering fundamental knowledge has a wide reach. You have the potential to transform the world by changing the understanding, reshaping industries, or even influencing policies. All of this with the goal of changing everybody's life for the better. This is a scary large task but we will prepare and support you so that you can embrace this opportunity with open arms and a passionate heart. Also, remember that one of the most remarkable aspects of academia is the spirit of collaboration. You are now part of a vibrant community of scholars, each with their unique perspective and collaboration. You just saw the three most recent ones who have joined the OIST community. Don't hesitate to engage with your peers, your professors and other researchers from any discipline. In fact, at always we strongly encourage interdisciplinarity as there are unexplored treasures hiding between the established disciplines. Interacting with people outside your comfort zone will challenge your assumptions, broaden your horizons, and foster new ideas and innovation. Moreover, your mentors and advisors are always there to guide and support you. Their wealth of knowledge and experience is an invaluable resource source as you navigate the intricate landscape of research. Don't be afraid to seek their guidance and learn from their insights. Their dedication to your academic growth is a testament to their belief in your potential. Finally, and I'm not sure I need to stress this, it's essential to strike a balance between your work, your well-being, and the time you spend going diving. Remember that there's a life outside the lab and nurture your minds with hobbies. Take time to develop helpful and valuable relationships and long-term friendships. A healthy mind and body are fundamental to your success as a researcher. We are looking forward to seeing you become the most successful members of the OIST community and rock stars in your respective scientific communities. But also know that this means embracing failure as a stepping stone, temporary failure. As long as you're curious, you will bounce back it's all part of the risk-taking you embraced when you decided to show up here today. Welcome to OIST. Welcome to the PhD program. Embrace every opportunity, cherish every challenge, and remember that the pursuit of knowledge is a privilege that also comes with great responsibility. We are very happy to have you nerds with us. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. So, now to get to know all of our students personally, I'd like to ask each and every one of these new students to come and join us on the stage. Advance. There's no set place to stand, just in the light somewhere that we can see you. So each year we have three terms at OIST. Beginning September is the main, the start of the academic year. 
but we also admit students in January, and we also admit students a little early in May. So the students we have as part of this class today, and you don't all have to stand in one line, you can stand in a group. <laughs> um, so today most of our students are joining us from the September intake, but there's also quite a few here from May. And unfortunately, the ones from January intake, uh, they don't even know who they are yet, and nor do we. But we will welcome them in turn. So I'm going to go through all of the students. Um, I can't allow everybody to speak for five minutes about where you come from and who your favourite pop star is. But what we can do is we can arrange you in order of country. We'll just introduce you as a group of everybody from the same country, alphabetically. Um, when I call your name or you recognise your name in some form or other, um, I think I'll get most of these right, um, raise your hand and say hello. So firstly, from Belarus, we have Dmitry Sakharov. A student from Brazil, Leonardo Tozetto. Why don't you guys stand more in the middle, in the light? Okay, from China this year, we have four students. Du Xinyi, Chen Jiajun, Guan Yuxiang, Yuan Zhenghan. From the Czech Republic, uh, Lara Dolatilova. From France, Claire Loire. And Olivia Fernandez. From Indonesia, two students, Made Beni. Made Beni, where are you? Over there. And Mohammed Hamza. Great shirt. From Israel, Ilya Rizov. Quite a few from Japan. Um, we have about 20% of our students from Japan, which is well and good. Kaede Kawaguchi. <laughs> Kota Shirahata. <laughs> Makiko Emori. <laughs> Mitsuyuki Oshiro. <laughs> and also Shuma Oya. <laughs> Tatsunosuke Hanano. Tema Fujishige and Ute Takahashi. From Kazakhstan, Baktizan Algadavlov. Algadavlitov. I knew I was going to trip on that one. From Pakistan, Sharon Baba and Sieda Baktawa Zahra. From Poland, Anna Klarkowska. From Russia, Anastasia Borodina, Dmitry Shipkov, and Saveli Dudoladov. And also from Russia, Sergei Abdrakmanov, Tamara Yakimova, and Vadim Samardak. From South Korea, Ijin Lee. From Spain, Javier Pagan and Teresa Bosch Tamayo. From Sweden, Johanna Johansson. From Syria, Hania Al Tabar. From the Ukraine, Anastasia Ischenko, Andri Yakimenko. Anna Pavlovska and Diana Nechiporenko. And from the United Kingdom, Peter Reynolds. From the USA, Stephen Mars. Salome Hayes Shupta. 
Kyle Grant, and Diala Edit. And rounding out the group today from Vietnam, Huang Tuan Duc. So a great welcome to all of you. Um, it's always great meeting such a diverse group of students. You're adding to the diversity of the OIS community, which, as the president referred to earlier, is vast. And we acknowledge this is the first step of a long journey for you all, so best of luck. Please take your seats. So as they take their seats, I'm going to call on the next part of the program, which is a welcoming address from the existing students. Um, Aisha Oshima is from uh, the Student Council and she will be introducing, well, welcoming the new group of students to um, the OIS community and take it away, Aisha. Good morning and welcome to OIST. Uh, congratulations on your acceptance and the beginning of what promises to be an exciting and transformative journey. First and foremost, I must acknowledge your choice to commit at least about half a decade of your life to study on an isolated island hundreds of kilometers away from the mainland. It's a bold decision and it reflects your spirit of adventure and your willingness to explore unique experiences. Embrace this choice as it demonstrates your readiness to take risks. Now, I won't stand here and claim and explain to you that you, made, you have made the greatest decision ever in your life uh, to come to this beautiful island. That is something for you to find out for yourself uh, through and after the initial excitement of your first months here, right? So instead, as a representative of the Student Council, uh, let me pivot to something close to our hearts. Uh, the significance of student involvement. OIST is a unique institution uh, because of its governance structure, cross-disciplinary nature, and highly diverse environment. All the things you've probably already heard of, aware of, right? But OIST is also a very young institution that is continuously evolving, a process in which your participation is crucial. Being a student here can go beyond acquiring and adding to knowledge. It can also be about active participation in shaping its future and its very ethos. When we talk about student engagement and involvement at OIST, it isn't merely about teamwork, leadership, or networking. It's about the potential to cultivate management skills and the possibility to seed long-term structural changes. Each of you brings a diverse academic background and a wealth of ideas from your previous experiences. We eagerly welcome these fresh perspectives as they will drive us forward. Pushing for a truly inclusive conversation among students, faculty, staff, and executives is challenging, but participating in this continuous act of talking and listening uh, will serve to uphold the core values of this institution and shape its future directions in a meaningful way. Naturally, there are times we might feel skeptical and doubt the impact of our efforts, uh, and in those, times, in those times we say this, our goal isn't to prove ourselves to others, but to grow and shape our own future. When we challenge the status quo and put in the effort, it's for our personal development and the betterment of our institution. In closing, you've embarked on this journey because you seek adventure, crave new experiences, and want to make a positive difference in the world, small or large scale. Harness that energy and engage with your peers and faculty and all sorts of initiatives. Together, let's contribute to shaping the future of OIST and the wider world. Thank you, and once again, welcome to OIST. And now I'm gonna be joined by our health and wellness officer to present this annual Students' Choice Award for teaching. Thank you, Aisha. Good morning, everyone. Um, 
as I just said, I'm part of the student council as well. And as you probably know, uh, coursework and curricular adventures are a big part of the PhD program here at OIST. I'm sure we've all been through many, many courses in the past and had fantastic experiences and maybe less than fantastic experiences. I know personally I'm here because of a particularly fantastic instructor quite a while ago, and it's why I decided to pursue physics and, again, why I'm standing here today. And so in recognition of all the work and effort and dedication that goes into teaching courses, the students every year uh, nominate and elect uh, several instructors who demonstrate particular commitment and fantastic instruction um, to recognize their hard work in the, in the form of the Student Choice Award. So this year there are three recipients of the Student's Choice Award, representing both faculty and non-faculty instructors here at OIST, and so I will now announce the results. The first recipient of the Student's Choice Award is Professor Philip Husnick from the Evolution, Cell Biology, and Symbiosis Unit. If you're around, please come up. The next recipient of the Students' Teaching Award is Professor Christine Luscombe from the Pi Conjugated Polymers Unit. I don't believe she's able to join us today, but we thank her remotely for her uh, fantastic dedication. And the final recipient of the Students' Teaching Award is Dr. Owen McDowell from the Representation Theory and Algebraic Combinatorics Unit. Owen is also unfortunately not able to attend, but we send our thanks for his commitment and dedication to inspiring in the classroom and as a mentor. Thank you. Always a difficult choice to make that one, but well done, thank you. Um, and congratulations, Philip. Although you did sit right the way at the back. So, to close out the ceremony, we would like to introduce another very professional group of oysters who are going to present an Acer dance for us. Acer is an important part of culture in Okinawa, especially at this time of year around Obon. So we're very fortunate to have this professionally trained group of dancers to knock us out with their performance. They're all... Uh, highly trained and members of the Shinka class from the CDC, and take it away.
absolutely superb performance. Brilliant timing. I think um, top marks for enthusiasm. So that brings us to the end of another welcome ceremony. Um, once again, welcome to new faculty, new students, to the OIS community. And, and it's a big community. It's not just the university. We're welcoming you to... <laughs> We're welcoming you to the local community around Tantra, to Onnason, to Okinawa itself. There's a lot to do and enjoy here. Um, study hard, research hard, play hard. I'm sure there's enough time in the day for all of that. So thank you very much. And I'd just like to make sure that the students stay with us after the ceremony. Uh, we'll take you and the grad school staff uh, somewhere outside and take a photograph. Nothing sinister. So thank you very much and welcome everybody.